Okay, uh, hello. I will uh, show you a way to make a screenshot on Samsung Galaxy S without having to shake your phone, which I don't think is a really fun thing to do whenever you buy a case to protect it. Start shake it. I don't think it's a good thing for software or hardware. Um, anyway, so there's a way around it to also be able to make screenshots within apps, uh, which is not possible on Froyo, using the back button and the home button. Um, so the way around it, the first thing you do, sorry for the quality guys, but can't help it, this is an old phone. First thing you do, you get an app called Screen Capture Shortcut. You install that and put it in your notification bar. Secondly, you get another app, which is called Smart Task Bar, which is a sidebar. Uh, it acts as a widget on your home screen. If you install it right, do the settings, take some time, you can really have some good things about it. Uh, the orange button here will be on every screen, which is a quick set access button to this app. So if you go in there, you see I have some apps pre installed here. Everything's fine. So for example, you'd be busy playing a game. Uh, let me take, for example, Alchemy Genetics, which is a fun game. So you're now inside this game and you see there is no notification bar. So there wouldn't be any possibility to make a screenshot. What you do is you hit the button that you installed to smart taskbar and it pops up. Now you're still in the app so what you do, you install shortcut short uh, screenshot and you hit it and then you get a menu with a notification bar pull that down hit screenshot, do a delay of about five seconds go back and you're back in your screen and now it takes picture of your screen. Let's do that one more time because it didn't go as I wanted. Hit that button, go there, scroll down, screen capture, about five seconds, go back and wait. Now this picture will show up in your screen capture gallery. Okay, have fun and uh, sorry for the quality.